The No Nonsense Roundtable. It's a weekly show broadcast on Rochester, New York's 50,000 watt iHeart radio station, News Radio Wham 1180. The host, Dom Geneva, interviews guests from all walks of life, all with amazing stories to tell. What you are about to hear is a recording of a previous broadcast with limited commercials. Now, here's host, Dom Geneva. Well, welcome, everybody, to another edition of the No Nonsense Roundtable. I'm Dom Genova, your host, every Saturday right here. If it's Saturday, 10 o'clock, it's the No Nonsense Roundtable. Now, um, we talk all the time about people on the show, and some people you know and you want to know more about, like Don Alhart, and some people you don't know and you should know. So I, I have a, a group of people in my office, four people, including Nita, finally got her, got her in my office uh, to record, and um, we are talking to people from the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute uh, associated with RIT. And I think the best way to explain this is that it, it's a group of people that that are involved with, well, you get to a point in your life where you want to learn more than, you know, the calculus of how, you know, the planets, uh, the planets align. You, you, interesting stuff that they teach and interesting stuff for you to learn. And uh, I'm going to uh, let Mary, who is the program director, uh, start off the conversation. And quite frankly, I'm going to have you pronounce your own name. <laughs> okay, Dom, thank you. Uh, my name is Mary Tsikalakis. I'm the program director at Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at RIT, otherwise known as OLLI. And our program is one of those programs that we hear is a secret to everyone. Mm -hmm. So we would like it to not be a secret. And hence, you know, one of the reasons that we're here today with you uh, to help promote it. Um, Osher was developed... uh, Years ago, I can't remember the exact date, the exact year now, but it was created by a gentleman named Bernard Osher. He created a foundation, um, used his wealth to um, give out endowments to institutions, uh, educational institutions throughout the country, and really the his mission was to allow people who were retired or near retirement to um, be able to go somewhere to engage with other people, to learn something that maybe they, they have been wanting to learn, but haven't had the time or that's outside of their, you know, professional um, uh, learning requirements, let's say. So anyway, we are now at 120 plus Ollie's throughout the country. We're all, um, associated with a university. We've all received an endowment from Mr. Bernard Osher and I will, well, I, I, I guess to just define this or just ask you the question, uh, so you, you have people that have some spare time on their hands Correct. and they have an interest in a certain topic and the topics can go, uh, it, it can be a, a broad spectrum of, of, uh, of topics that they are experts in. And you have people that would be in, engaged by learning those things and they do and they do both you can you can contribute and you can also participate and you can learn and uh i i think it's 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 something where uh, especially people that are that retired and they're looking for something to do they don't want to sit around the house all day their their minds are active it's right. probably very very good for somebody who uh, is is looking for something to do that's not a commitment that you have to have a long term commitment or a lot uh, become a member of a club or something like that like a country club or whatever and uh, uh, the the concept that there are people that are teaching and people that are learning uh, at the same time is is really kind of a cool thing I think yeah it is we call that um, a, a peer led program so as you mentioned you can 
be an instructor or you can sit in on a course um, or you can do both like some of the people that are also with us here today. Oh, you are good at this. <laughs> I should have you co-host. <laughs> well, why don't we take you up on that? You introduce your other two uh, uh, members here. If you okay, want to call yeah, that wonderful. Um, so I would like to introduce Rachel Adonis, who is a member. We call our students um members and also dick scott who is a course leader and a member and dick and uh rachel actually co-lead a course on current events which as of late has been very interesting (laughs) i have lots of stuff to talk about this year so uh rachel let's go to you first tell me a little bit about your experience how long you've done this and what, what what you love about it and Uh, So again, my name is Rachel Adonis, and I had been looking forward to joining OSHER when I was thinking about my retirement planning. This was one of the activities that I had already determined that I wanted to be involved with. And what I love about our Ollie here in Rochester is that it gives me the opportunity to continue to learn more specifically about topics that I just have a general interest in. Mm -hmm. I've had 18 years of formal education, and those have been subjects I have been required Ah. to take. But I've had other interests. And so by attending our OLLI, um, I get to take classes just because I want to learn about it. I may know nothing about it. And it just uh, helps me expand my horizons. I kind of think about it as a brain exercise as well. Uh huh. Well, and, and and nobody's grading you at the end of the. There's no midterms with this. So that's right. Yeah. No attendance is taken. No exams are given. Stealing my thunder. It's all fun. Why why did you just poke Dick? I mean, what? what, 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 what There's there's something there. Some of my notes. Okay. (laughs) You came in with notes. That's a couple uh, of notes. That's good. Okay, so go ahead. So so I'm Dick Scott. Uh, I'm in my ninth year already. It's hard to imagine. I've been been doing this that long. Um, And uh, I want to just kind of reinforce what they've said. It's a great mental and social exercise belonging to this OSHER Lifelong Learning Institute, or OLLI. Um, we cover a wide variety of topics, all different uh, academic and, and other educational courses are taught. We have a great re- relationship with several other OLLIs around the country, and we offer courses from them. We trade courses to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a lot of instructors. We're always looking for more and um, I'm going to get this off right away. I want to reach out to anybody out there who may be a retired teacher, who was a teacher by profession, or has a desire to be a, a teacher just as a desire, and tell you that we offer a chance to be a pure educator mm-hmm. with no baggage. And people have kind of already mentioned some of this. When you come in and teach, you write your own curriculum, you write your body of whatever you're going to present, and you decide how you're going to present it. Uh, you say what you want to say. Nobody's telling you how to teach when we, we accept what you do w- within the parameters of, of it being a, an academic or educational uh, uh, enterprise. The other thing that uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of things I want to mention here, um, and it's already been said, but I'll say it again. You are going to, give, you're going to present a title and a description of your course. And um, when you are giving this... Out, we'll, we'll publish that for you, and then you will uh, have people that come that want to hear what you have to say. Um, so that's that's a big a biggie. Uh, there's a bunch of no's, and they've already said them, but I'm going to list them all out together. No attendance, no testing or grades, no parents bugging you, <laughs> which is a big deal. Don't, don't discount that, you non-teachers. And, and, no helicopter and no, parents. And no discipline. <laughs> and and uh, so it really is a pure teaching concept and uh, – and uh, if you're a teacher, you should come to us. Well, we are about ready to head to our first break. And uh, what, what I wanted to get back um, is something we were talking about before the show. Uh, the, sort of the silos of different uh, different uh, presentations you have. And, and, and some of them are, are structured different than others. And I want to get into, uh, you know, like where this place is. Because there, it, it, there, is, it, there is a place. It's not just online. So uh, right after this, we'll be right back. 
This is Dom for my friends at Jack Greco Furniture. You drive your car, you live with your furniture. That's why Nita and I buy our furniture locally from Jack Greco. Hey, lots of old name furniture manufacturers switch to mass production, producing their furniture who knows where. Why settle for that? Jack has quality pieces made by true craftsmen. And if you need a custom piece, Jack can do that for you too. The season's upon us. Jack has quality outdoor furniture you won't find anywhere else. Go to jackgreco.com. This is Dom for my friend Jim Shelley and his Fanatics Pub and Blue Stage in Lyman, New York. Like I say, a short scoot down 390 to exit 10, make a left at the light. A couple of miles down the road, there's Fanatics Pub and Blue Stage. You can see their nightly shows by going to fanaticspub.com, but this time of the year, his patio is open for free entertainment, three to six on weekends. Go, it's a great place. Well, welcome back. You're listening to the No Nonsense Roundtable. Uh, we're talking to three, well, four, if you call Nita, because she's sitting in the corner over there, uh, people that are involved with the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. And Dick, you know, we were talking about that you have a physical location to have these uh, presentations uh, along, you know, online, too. But uh, let's talk about that. Well, I think we're quite unique in, in the country that way, as far as the, what, 104 Ollies that are around the country. 120, but who's oh, counting? Oh, 120, but who's counting? <laughs> uh, but I, there's very few of them that have their own campus. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times they're on college campuses and they, and the, they have to go to different rooms. And, and we actually have a physical structure. And the address is... It is just south of the main RIT campus off of East River Road at 50 Fairwood Drive. Just follow the signs for Osher at RIT and then enter through the RIT orange doors. Well, it's, it's, it's like a clubhouse, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Really? I mean, you well, got plenty we, of parking and everything. School. Yeah, it's our own little school. We're self contained. Yeah. And, 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 uh, is there a general population you know, uh, geography? That, I mean, where's, where's the f furthest person come from? Do you, I mean, is, um, it's kind of a well, regional thing. We it's, have, well, that's an interesting know. point. After, now, one of our transitions through the pandemic was to completely revamp the way we did things. We, we were strictly live classes before. Now we have a hybrid system where we have live classes. Most classes are live and Zoom. So we have uh, an attendee from Nigeria. We have wow. an attend. Uh, we've had him from China. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, that's cool. Uh, All across so, the country. So, uh, yeah, and, mm -hmm. and several different states. Uh, so I could be. We could be leading a discussion class, and somebody on Zoom will be from Minnesota or Texas, or it's it's pretty crazy. And, and our um, New Hampshire, California. Uh, Arizona, and we have teachers from all those areas that come in to us also. So we have this this blend of the live classroom and and the um, the the Zoom part of it. Uh -huh. And I also want to mention we we said about being teachers and and being um, uh, students when we go or attendees to these classes, but we also help produce each class too. Mm -hmm. We have other people that are are willing to help with the technical side of it to to help the staff produce each class and we and we do that too we're pretty self-contained and we have our basically we have a volunteer administrative structure also so uh, there's a lot to do if you want to get involved and everything you do when you get a little older helps the old brain cells keep working. oh yeah uh, oh yeah keep those I, I, cognitive loops going no no you're 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 absolutely you're absolutely right and and the thing is is that uh, it, it seems like you have this this vast uh, rainbow of topics and subjects that I mean it's not just it's not just one thing in particular this is this is like your your box of, this is this is like the Forrest Gump thing it's like the box of chocolates right there's, there's let's talk about some of those well there's 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 pure science pure history pure academic courses that you could think and then there's oddball things uh, somebody reads a book about a funny thing that happened and they'll they'll say well look at this finding some gold in a sunken galleon and they'll talk about the story how this gold was found because i did that i gave a lecture once on something like that um a holocaust survivor we have yeah. you you name it uh I, I did an interview with a japanese lady who was a member at the time who survived the tokyo bombing raids and and she wow. was, she, was uh, um, she was 14 years old at that time and survived the big bombing raid on tokyo in, in march of 45 so a, a wide variety of topics all kinds of special interest groups 
Um, you want to go through the special interest groups, Mary? Yeah, sure. Um, before we do that, I just wanted to mention, um, as Dick alluded to, that we have everything um, from the traditional type of courses to learning Japanese. Um, that's one of the courses that we've had the past couple of terms. We've had, um, we're having a course this fall, actually, on Bob Dylan and whether was he a thief. Um, and we have 80 plus course offerings coming this fall, beginning on September 16th. Uh, the special interest groups are interesting, um, as, as it's in the name. Uh, we have a photography group. They get together and they talk about, uh, photos that they've taken and they share tips and tricks on how to make your photos better using either um, the way you take the photo mm -hmm. or how to edit it in some form of um, editing software. We have a group for knitting, needle crafts. Um, we have a walking group, and that has been very popular. They walk every Friday. Um, where, where did it, at a mall or something or no outdoors at, at, at your facility that walk around your facility? Actually, no. The leader of that group, uh, named Helen, she picks a location in the County. Um, it's usually at oh, a park yeah, or on yeah. a trail and, um, the group gets together and they walk for an hour, an hour and a half. And usually she makes it, um, an easy to an intermediate level. So even if you're not, you know, a serious hiker, you can join the group, go on a nice walk on a Friday, get some exercise. So we, we like to provide something that's not only mentally stimulating, um, but that also, you know, you can, mm -hmm. Well, now, now the courses, do you, do you have people, uh, I would imagine you have people that just you call you up and they say, hey, I haven't experienced doing, you know, such and such. Can I, can I have a course, right? Is that, that's, a, that's the way it works, no? Yeah, pretty much. Um, people will call and say, um, I'm a retired professor. I'm a retired doctor. Uh, I, or a you know, high school teacher, any, anybody. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what your background is. You can teach a course. You can take a course. Um, another benefit to being part of RIT is that um, we, our program is two-pronged. So uh, as Dick said, we have our own campus, our own facility just south of the main RIT campus. But you can also, um, as part of a membership in this program, you can audit RIT undergraduate courses, and and that's that's wow. that's big because um, you can pay upwards of several thousand dollars to audit a course on a university campus, and it comes free as part of your uh, OSHER membership. That that and now let me make sure I got that right. Mm -hmm. So so I could become a, a member of OSHER, mm -hmm. Ali, and. I get to audit a cl classes at RIT? Correct. So I could go into marketing, a marketing class, marketing 303 or whatever, sit down and listen to the professor. Yes. Yes. Get, you, you can audit those classes for free. Oh, my it, Lord. Everything in the arts and sciences. Uh, well, we've okay. opened auditing up to every college on the campus. So oh. I, I could go there and I, I could get advice and, and whatever. I, I, could, I could get an education in... They're not for credit, right? For auditing, right. but yes, right. Can, I, I mean, at this point, at this point, in pe I don't need another piece <laughs> of paper now. I got my piece of paper now. Right. I need to exactly. learn something, right? Exactly. That's extraordinary. I had, I had, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, the fine print is that the inter undergraduate students have to have first dibs at those courses, oh, right? Because yeah. they need to graduate. Yeah. Um, so after they've had the opportunity to enroll, then our uh, OSHA members can um, get into a course if it's not hmm. full. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that that's an absolutely uh, wonderful who knew. Uh, now, we're about ready to enter the news break, uh, but when we come back, I want to talk to you, uh, Dick, about uh, you, you were saying that the types of courses, there's some that are uh, part participatory and there's some that are just strict lectures and what what, what that's like and what do those courses uh, uh, generally um, uh, involve? So uh, right after this, uh, we'll be talking more, well, about that. 
And now here's co-founder of the Rascals, inductee of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Rochester guy, Gene Corners, to say a word about his favorite team. The Red Wings rock. I've been a fan since I was a kid in my bedroom hearing the cheers from Silver Stadium. Memories I will never forget. Here's what's happening this week. The Red Wings are home this weekend. Friday is Star Wars night with fireworks. Saturday is basketball night with an Isaiah Stewart bobblehead giveaway and fireworks. Sunday is First Responders Day and kids can run the bases. For tickets, visit RedWingsBaseball.com. Well, welcome back. You're listening to the No Nonsense Roundtable. I am here with the good people from the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, uh, based at uh, in RIT, and uh, I would call you. You have a clubhouse there, but it's it's not all clubhousey. You, well, we were talking a little bit about, before about you doing these presentations, some of them online, and getting people from all over the world, which is really kind of cool. Yeah, our hybrid system. And, uh, and, and Dick, you, you were talking about that there are courses that are strictly lectures and ones that are discussion groups. I'd love to, t- yeah, tell me a little I, bit more about, about, you know, like one that's one, one's that the other. I, I would say that uh, a, a pretty substantial majority of, our, of our, all of our classes are standard lecture style classes, mm-hmm. always with question and answers, um, but using either PowerPoint or Keynote. Uh, given by uh, somebody standing behind a lectern and, and lecturing to people that want to be there. Uh, one thing about Osher, we are a little older, and sometimes they fall asleep on you. Other than that, <laughs> yeah. and I always said, if I even if I had a big bear with a kazoo, yeah. it would still fall asleep on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my neighbor, who I used to ride with to, uh-huh. to Osher, he's passed on now. He he would uh, as soon as we got back in the car, it was three or four of us rode together. He'd say, "Boy, Dick, I really liked your lecture." And one of the others would say, "You twit, you fell asleep in ten minutes." <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? You don't even know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, there's that, a little bit. I'm sure it doesn't happen. You know, all nothing's that absolutely well, perfect. Well, it, it's, it's a discussion group. Do, do, I mean, yeah. it, I mean, do, do you have like what was yeah. the, stolen elections? Do they happen or not? And you get people we, yelling at each other. And I mean, is that does that ever we happen? Have, do you we have, have, have controversial have, stuff like that. We or? have two different uh, current event type classes. Okay, and and. Uh, we, Rachel and I, are involved with one, and, and uh, another lady runs the other, and, and they're pure discussion classes. Okay. People come in, and they discuss topics generally that they have picked. And, uh, well, today I had to admonish the cats not to be fighting in the backyard. Uh, there was a little bit of, uh, a little bit of um, uh, political infighting going on there, and that, that spices it up a little bit. But... On the, on so the, you're not literally talking about cats. I mean, I'm you're talking, talking about, about the. You're talking, talking about this about thing. My my job is herding cats. Oh, herding cats. <laughs> so this happened today. It did actually happen this morning. I want to hear more about this. Well, uh, no, yeah, got, I said details like names, got, names, and everything. Nobody, Go ahead. <laughs> nobody got hurt, and as soon as I reminded, this time, <laughs> as soon as I this reminded, time, well, got one, one of them was on Zoom, and the other was oh, okay. in the live yeah. classroom, so they couldn't actually physically get to each other. But uh, <laughs> I did say, uh, okay, now remember in this class. All opinions and all viewpoints are respected. Leave people alone, and they did. They backed off. Oh, and, that's... and we have people from hard left and hard right trying to figure things out. Uh, okay. And generally, it works. Okay, I can't let you go on this one. So, what was the topic? I mean, it, 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 I mean what, what well, was it? Wasn't like you know tidy whities and, and, and boxers. Was, this was something serious. What was it? It was current political strategies. Oh, so okay, uh, one that was basically a minefield. But we got through it pretty well. No, I guess there was a couple of stumbles, but we got through it pretty well. Well, nobody's and we, nobody's and we fall- usually do, and nobody's falling asleep in that one. No, oh no, no that, <laughs> that's one where everybody stays awake. There's there's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so so mostly, no, that's a pure discussion class. Okay, uh-huh. we don't we don't really do yeah, yeah. hardly any lecturing at all. Once in a while, one of us will present a little, <laughs> a little short thing, uh, but there really isn't any. I have another word for. It. I wouldn't use a discussion. I would. Yeah, it's another word for that. What one are you thinking? Well, I, I, I'm I'm thinking you know like a revolt or something like that rather it, than a it's, discussion, it's, right? It's remarkably peaceful, oh, okay. especially That's when you good. consider how how diverse we are yes. in our population yes. these days, yeah. which it's is a good very, thing. And and people are very good about it, uh, even though they don't agree on a lot of things. We have another co- course that's going on right now, which is very popular. I, it might be our most popular course right now, called Law in the News. Ah. it's presented by two lawyers uh, who are members. 
And they bring in uh, lawyers that they know that are specialists in a certain very niche uh, part yeah. of the law. Uh, could be immigration law. It could be, uh, I'm trying to think what are some of the other things. Bankruptcy, oh, oh. probably. Uh, well, uh, I don't remember if they, they, I don't think they did bankruptcy, but but a lot of the current, uh, okay. a lot of the, oh, I know, um, immunity, the immunity ah. concept. Uh, they get topics out of the news that are going on, and there's been lots of topics for them to talk about. Um, and um, we have a variety of, of uh, other classes where people are learning languages. I think we have some drawing classes coming mm. up, and are, yep. that, so they're doing fine arts. Um, it's it's you have to check our our, um, our fall catalog, which is coming out soon, right? It's on our website right oh, now: www.rit.edu/osher. O s h e r. Uh, and, and Rachel, uh, uh, you, you've been, uh, uh, well, we've kind of ignored you here. So I'm going to throw out two words to you. One is, uh, Anita says to ask you uh, the word intercession and fodler. So why don't you explain those two things to okay, us, please? great. Thank you. Uh, the intercession is uh, a program where we offer field trips between terms. And so we've reinvigorated that program. And most recently, we invited our members to visit the Monroe County crime lab. Mm. And so we all met down there and, and the supervisor of the lab gave us a, a very interesting tour and described some of the activities that they're involved with, what they're looking at in terms of DNA, fingerprinting, all those interesting things that we see on TV um, brought to life right there in the crime lab. The father lecture has been been a tremendous draw. First of all, we make the father lecture available to everyone. The entire public is welcome to join us uh, for the father lecture, and they can join us either by Zoom or in person. We love to have them in person um, to, you know, be a dynamic audience mm. for our, our presenters. And we've had the Monroe County Sheriff present to us. We have coming up the Rochester Police Chief will be presenting this fall. We will have someone from RIT talking about cybersecurity. The, uh, another topic is the microbiome and your gut. Um, we'll also have a post-election discussion with David K. Johnston. Uh, so we so have, for people who don't know David K. Johnson, that's a pretty big get. So why don't you explain who he is, please? Oh, I don't know if I can give him credit, but but David K. Johnson, first of all, he's a, a author of many books. Uh, one of the books that he's written had been about Donald uh, Trump. So he's been very politically and financially astute. And you may see him sometimes as a guest speaker on various news shows uh, invited to comment on various topics. So David K. Johnston is uh, one of Rochester's treasure mm -hmm. that we share with the nation. And um, before we get into the next break, I, I, I want to do that retail thing again. Uh, t tell everybody where they can contact you. But also you have, you, you have a deal coming up uh, in, in another week or two, right? Uh, yes, we do. Um, we have what's called our course preview event and open house. Uh, is Monday, August 26th, beginning at 10 a.m. We'll have uh, several of our fall course presenters uh, doing sort of a mini session on what they're going to be teaching uh, mm -hmm. beginning in September. And then we'll have some snacks, refreshments, the opportunity for people to um, take a tour of our facility to meet other people. And, um, and if they'd like, they can join that day. Uh, we will be having um, a special, if you attend the course preview, mm -hmm. then you can register for courses prior to when registration opens for the rest of the people. Ah, so, uh, so okay. You'll, yeah, you won't get closed out of anything. Um, well, how many people are normally in the course? I, I guess it, I, I guess it goes from... It has a very uh, varied uh, amount they, of people, right? Yes, they they range. Um, sometimes an instructor will want to put a limit on it because uh -huh. they want a, a sort of smaller discussion group. So um, we have everything from 15 up to 100 plus. Mm -hmm. Well, good. And th that date again is? Monday, August 26th at 10 a.m., 
You can either attend in person at our facility just south of the main RIT campus at 50 Fairwood Drive, follow the signs for Osher at RIT and enter through our orange doors, or you can join us on Zoom. Uh, You can get the Zoom meeting information by calling either 585-292-8989 or emailing us at osher, O-S-H-E-R, at rit.edu. All righty. And uh, we are heading into our last break and we will talk to you. Oh, we'll be listening to you or you'll be listening to us or whatever you want to say right after this. This is Dom for my friend, John McClurk. John has two dealerships, McClurk Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and McClurk Chevrolet, both in Perry. Hey, you don't buy a car all that often. So when you do, shouldn't you go to a place you can put your trust in? You can depend on McClurk. John's dealerships are family dealerships where people you deal with today are the people you will deal with tomorrow. No nonsense. Go visit them at McClurk, ChryslerDodgeJeep.com or McClurkChevrolet.com. Well, welcome back. You're listening to No Nonsense Roundtable. We're in our last segment here. We call this the retail segment of the show because, well, <laughs> now we talk about the guest and uh, what we do to uh, to help their cause a little bit. So let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, maybe some of the things we missed first. And uh, uh, as as it is, uh, we just uh, we're having a little bit of fun between the break here, and uh, we, you have to understand this is like a psychological experiment. I have three people from Osher here, and Nita, who's been involved in Osher for a, a number of years, and she didn't want to come on uh, and say anything because uh, just she she wants actually she wants to have nothing to do with me. But I I don't I don't I don't hold that against her. I don't hold that against her because you know I have to live with myself twenty four seven. And uh, she only has to live with me like, you know, six hours a day. And I have it much worse than she does. And uh, she doesn't want to really admit that. But, uh, Nita, uh, so I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to say anything that you want about your wonderful experience at Osher, because uh, this has meant a, a, a lot to you over the years. And you've had a lot of fun and learned a lot of things. Okay, well, thank you for that. And thank you to our three panelists for uh, doing this for me today. Um, I really love Osher. It's been my passion for the last 14 years. When I joined, the reason I joined was because I was at the end of my term as a stay-at-home mom because our youngest went off to college, and there was no one around during the day because most women were either working or went back to work when their kids went to college, and so it was kind of a lonely place to be. And I had heard about Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, or OLLI, as we're trying to call it now, and it just fit perfectly for me because... It was during the day, for one thing. Um, We did have evening programs, and now we have the hybrid program, so you can join from anywhere at any time, basically, because we also have a member portal. So if you miss a class, you still get to take that class at at your own convenience. You just don't get to participate live. But for me, when I went to Osher, um, it allowed me to take in um, the subjects that I had never really delved into, such as literature. And I took one of the classes there and I was like, I just love this. And that was that. And then I took other courses and then one thing led to another. And for many years, I taught a film course on Bollywood movies um, because I loved watching them. And then that took me down another whole line of learning, such as learning PowerPoints, how to embed videos. And then I got involved in the technical aspects of running a course because I could see that course leaders needed that help. So I did that. I did Sadaji Thrai, which was the Apu Trilogy, world-class film, um, and the only Indian Oscar winner, life, lifelong Oscar winner. Um, and it just is, you know, I have done almost every job at Osher that mm-hmm. there is in the last 14 years. Um, it is, as I say, my passion. So, um, I love it. I love everything that it affords people, um, to spend their time on. Uh, most importantly is the socialization. Um, it keeps during COVID it kept a lot of our members sane mm. and we made the transition to zoom. Um, and I can't tell you how many people have told me that exactly without Osher during those times of isolation, it would have been just brutal. Well, the so other, the, the, the other thing with, with you is that, 
your involvement with Osher got you involved with the Indian community to the point where where Nita uh, was on the board of directors of the Indian Community Center. And, you know, so you don't, you don't know where this is going to go. That's, what, that's one of these things, random twists in life, you know. So you could get involved in something at, at Osher, either meet somebody that you haven't met before or taken a course in something that you are interested in, maybe will set you into a direction where you, you get really involved in it. And uh, uh, it, it's it, it's it just sounds like a really neat place to 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 be and go. And, and you know the other thing is I kind of tease you a little bit, but you got your own clubhouse. You know, I mean that's really cool. It's not like you're, you're having this in the you know the corner of some high school someplace on a Tuesday night. I mean this is this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a wonderful facility with easy parking, easy access. Um, it just it, it, it really is a gem. And if you haven't ever heard of us before or thought about us, you really need to give us a look. Um, particularly at our course preview, where you'll get a really, really good overview of not only the classes, but the people that you'll be meeting. So, Dick, I'm going to turn it right back over to you. What what, what, what have we missed or we need to, uh, other than the fist fights that you... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that, the, that, that, really, yeah, that was really well, just a minor thing. It, it only, but, ha- only, um, ha- only happened once every... One reason, thing I do want to mention, which, we haven't, which <laughs> I haven't said, and, and uh, we have a, an absolutely... A group of stars for our for our staff. We have uh, we have three yes. big time players. They're wonderful. Yeah. They know what's going on, and they're real easy to work with. And um, we love them. Well, and, and right back at you. Well, let's let well, let's since this is the retail section of the show, let's talk about this. This is not without a cause. This is a very modest cause, but it's not without a cause. So let's talk about that. Sure. Um, So we have a couple of different ways that you can participate. One is um, per term. We have four terms or quarters a year, and it's $165 a quarter. That affords you the opportunity to take as many classes as you want. So Mm -hmm. you pay one fee and you can take as many classes as you want. You don't have to worry about additional hidden fees or per per course fees. the other option is just a dollar a day, three hundred and sixty-five dollars a year, um, and that gets you a full year membership, which includes an RIT student ID, the auditing capabilities that we talked about earlier, where you can audit undergraduate courses on the main RIT campus, uh, as well as getting. Um, hearing evaluations at the National Technical Institute for the Deaf and access to Mm. their very low pricing um, for for hearing aids. And um, basically, those are the two. Yeah, those are the two membership options. If you're an individual, we also recently have uh, created what's called a community membership. So if you are the event manager for a senior living facility, mm-hmm. you can purchase a membership for your entire facility, broadcast our live Zoom classes in your community room, and get as many of your residents in there wow. as you'd like. They can also participate in the dialogue, the discussion in the classes. And mm-hmm. um, and that's been wonderful. We've had a couple of different uh, facilities joining us for that. Well, th- now let me ask you a question. Maybe this is a little bit off the wall. Maybe, uh, it, you say you get, you get an RIT student ID. Correct. Okay. Does that give you, like these companies have student discounts on things? Does that get you that? Yes. Yes. Uh, so you can get student discounts wherever they're they're offered. Um, which is a big plus. And you can also, um, well, you get a university ID number, which also allows you access to our library at RIT, um, both the in, um, I'm sorry, the online archives, uh-huh. uh, journals, et cetera. And you can also go in person to check out books. So, so um, I mean, I, I know this is just a, you know, a, an ancillary thing or side thing. So when you see online and it says that uh, a, a, com, a, a laptop manufacturer is giving you one price for the general public and one price for the students, you can go in there and say, yeah, hey, I'm a student. I got a student ID. Is that, is, is that, 
I, I think it depends on the company Com- and what they require, require for... But you got a student idea. Yeah. So, so some of the stuff... The, the, let, let's put it this way. It's compelling to believe that at least some of the stuff out there you can take advantage of because you have an RIT student ID. Correct. Well, unfortunately, we are we are about done uh, with, with our show. We have a, you know, a couple of seconds uh, free. Is uh, Anybody want to say any last words? I'll say one little thing to end this. Is that... I have had conversations with old friends and started talking about things that I've learned at Osher over the last almost decade. And half the time I get nothing but uh, deer in the headlights looking back at me. They have no idea what I'm talking about. That's the absolute truth. These yeah. are people with advanced degrees, professional, yeah, yeah. etc. And we learn a lot and we don't even realize how much we learn. Well, and that's one of the points of my show is to spotlight things that you you need to know more about. And, and uh, I, I know from Nita's experience with uh, Osher uh, all over these years that you have something there more people need to know about it. So we're talking about we're talking to thousands and thousands thousands and thousands of people so some of you out there are definitely uh, candidates for this wonderful program and uh, uh, it's 10 o'clock uh, next Saturday uh, right here is the No Nonsense Roundtable thanks for coming in guys thank you Dom thank you thank you thanks for listening tune in every Saturday from 10 to 11 on News Radio Wham 1180 don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll make more